Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the Fujifilm Real 3D W1 camera, a 3D camera that you can get for about $600. So what it is, basically, it's two 10 megapixel cameras hidden behind the, uh, the protective cover here. You can use either one of these as a standard two-dimensional still image camera. You get all the standard um, 2D uh, image stuff like uh, sports modes, portrait modes, all that kind of stuff. But when the two come together, you're actually able to take a 3D stereoscopic image. So if we take a quick look on the back here, this is actually a lenticular screen. So if we press play uh, to actually view some previous images, you can see a picture of uh, Sean Carruthers, one of our producers here at Butterscotch.com. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to see it on camera. Uh, if you were actually in studio with us, though, you'd be seeing a nice, uh, an actual, actually pretty impressive 3D image. You can see here that they're basically putting a couple of different images together, one from the left and one from the right lens, to to then pop the image out. So you don't need any special 3D glasses, despite the fact that Sean is wearing some here, in order to actually see these 3D images. These actually just appear right on the, uh, right on the screen. It's a picture of my dog, so th this is actually a uh, video. So you can also um, play or record, sorry, 3D video uh, in 30-second uh, clips. So there you can see, like I say, the, um, the, the, the lenticular image, um, it, like I said, if you were actually um, viewing this in the studio, you would be seeing a reasonably impressive 3D image. Now, there's also a, a, a digital photo frame that goes for about $500 that uses the same uh, lenticular technology that's on the back of this camera uh, in order to actually display your 3D photos. If you have a 3D TV, as, as is stated here, you can also connect via HDMI 1.4 to actually display your 3D images and movies on your big screen TV. Now, Fuji is also unveiling a, uh, a printing service, a lenticular printing service. So lenticular printing is, uh, if you remember those rulers from grade school where you're seeing uh, multiple different um, images kind of moving around on a, on a, on a ruler in this case. Um, as a very similar uh, feel there, but instead of actually showing uh, motion in the image, you'll actually be seeing a reasonably impressive 3D image. I have actually had a chance to see one of those prints in person, and like I say, it is, it is reasonably impressive considering it's an actual printed uh, picture. Now, as it is displaying the, the 3D images right on the screen, some people complain that it kind of bugs their eyes out. Uh, I did actually feel that way when I first started experimenting with the camera, but I found that after maybe a, you know, just a few minutes, I, I, I find that I'm now able to see the images without any issue at all and uh, with, without bugging my eyes out. So more than anything, this really is kind of a novelty product at this stage in the game. Like I say, it's not too large, so you can still use it as a standard point and shoot. Um, at a $600 price point, like I say, more of a novelty item. But if you have a 3D TV and you're truly starving for any kind of 3D content, if you want to start taking 3D movies at home, really uh, a good entry point here rather than spending you know, several thousand dollars on a, a full 3D video camera. So that's a quick look at the Fujifilm Real 3D W1 camera. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com.